Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Grandia 2, and I killed everything on this floor, so let's go to Underground Plant 2, and we're going to explore here a bit. And this place is... It seems like it's big and scary and, you know, confusing, but it's linear as all hell. So, come over here, we'll pick up some dynamite. Dynamite's actually pretty powerful. It's another bomb-type weapon. You can see there are these little, you know... I, I, I guess uh, pipes that uh, run from section to section and that's really all we are going to be doing is running along these pipes as you can see there are multiple levels of pipe we can see it below us we're gonna be working our way down there are numerous things that block your path so of course it's very very linear so, not really much of a problem. There's a new bad guy there. It's a brain bat. Their actual name is Vain Brain. Uh, I'm not going to be fighting him there, because we're going to be fighting plenty of him as we go along, because he is a flying enemy and will be positioned precariously to uh, come and harass me on these pipes when not paired up with another ground-based enemy like the, the snail thing over there. Alright, so we just got a ton of money between those two treasure chests. And a save point on the other side of this tube that we can't hop over. I don't know why we can't just hop over that. We have the ability to jump. We've seen it in other things. We can jump, but we can't climb up onto that for whatever reason. Alright, so we got some more bad guys here. And there is... Uh, a fight. So we'll keep this in because this is one of the new enemies, the the vein brains. Um, yeah, they look. Cre they're basically brain bats. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, vein brains, level 28, 800 HP, 130 MP, uh, defense of 153, movement of 80, uh, action of 116, magic defense of 196, uh, weak versus fire, strong versus lightning. So yeah. That's he's going to attack Ryudo. I damn it. I was going to not care, but apparently I have to care. <laughs> because I have Alright. You're strong versus lightning, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna kill everything. We're gonna kill you. That's their big thing, is they will cast uh, stram. So if you get into a group of four of them, they can stram everyone, or they can get you to negative five and just be done with you. Like, that's... That's the sad truth about it, is... The, they... They really don't like your attack rating. So... Uh, we, we don't want them to, you know... Minus our attack rating. So, and then these guys are obviously weak to fire. The brain vein or vein brains being uh, weak to fire as well. If you get them all clumped together, you can basically just fire them to death, and it's fabulous. But and they're dead. These guys were no real challenge. No real challenge, and they drop electrum stones. The vein brains are the uh, antithesis of the. Uh, warp Warriors. Warp Warriors drop uh, a ton of special coins and then very few magic coins per kill. Vein Brains are the exact opposite. They drop very few special coins but a lot of magic coins. And there are more Vein Brains here than in the previous area for Warp Warriors. So it's one of those you want to make sure you're paying attention to what you're killing so you don't end up getting a ton of one over the other. We're gonna get what's in this treasure chest, which is... Oh, I didn't get a chance to actually read it because I had to run away. It is a forebear necklace, is what it was called. What does it do? Plus 10 to action suppresses IP slowing. So, that's an upgrade. Uh, we're gonna actually... Um, Rage Ring is also pretty good. 
That's going to drop all of his stats by two, except for action. But you know what? I think the rep represses IP slowing is going to be more than worthwhile. And actually, I think I want to get into a fight with those guys, but I may just come back and do all of the fights here like I did off screen for the next place. Because uh, I know I'm going to get into a couple of fights regardless, just from wandering around here, because this is when the vein brains are going to start attacking me on the... Uh, on these things. Alright, so here we've got this ominous looking thing here. We've got treasure on this side. And then we come here and then there's a switch here. We flip it and it changes everything. And then we can get a paralysis salve there. So, like I said, this is all linear. So, just keep going. And there's the vein brains that I was talking about. They're going to they're going to be a pain in the ass, so what I'm going to try to do is attack them before they can attack me, but I don't think that's going to happen. So give me just a second. I should just resign myself to the fact that I'm going to constantly get surprised by things that attack me there. I really don't think I have a, a means of, of countering that. And we've got some more money over here. Eh, 2100, yep, that's, that's what I was expecting. And then we've got these guys who are in the way. I just can't seem to get around at the moment. They are just not letting me get around. There we go. I'm gonna come over here. And there's another path blocking the way. We've got more vein brains there, but I was able to avoid them. We click this switch, and it's gonna switch the direction of that pipe. And then it gives us some little bit of money. And then the ability to come over this way. And the, the vein brains. Oh god, I forgot about the vein brains. Give me a second. So, yeah, that's that's always fun to deal with. And we're going to come over here. And there's several pathways here. We want to take this middle one first. It's the least beneficial. But it gives us a fine broadsword, which is weaker than what we've currently got because we took the time to beat the arm wrestling minigame to get all of the treasures there. So while the the frost sword that we've got now is not quite the best in terms of uh, damage against some of these enemies because of the resistance to ice, it's still better overall. We get a flamestone there, and then we come down to the last sub-level, and get a miracle elixir, and that, I believe, is the last treasure. I'm pretty sure that it is, so if we come this way, we can go around and there's some more bad guys. I'm actually going to kill these guys. Now, like I said, I'm going to do a lot of this stuff off screen because I, I do want to come here because, again, very, very good uh, coinage, I should say. Like the coins. And we're going to come to the third section, which is Underground Plant 3. And there's going to be a save point here. Uh, and then four treasures that we are going to get. So, and, ooh, that was not fun. Let's just, we're just going to kill everything. I've got time. We're just going to keep some fights in to show you what some of these guys, how it, how easy it is to deal with some of these things. So we're going to have Ryudo just do that, and we are going to burn flame the center guy there. And that should be the end of it. Off to the crematorium! That, that should take care of all five of them. And they're all dead. And one of them dropped something half decent, it seems. What did you drop? Bone harp! Okay. And... It's fine. It's fine. And really, the reason why I'm going to do that is because this section, the best way to get through this section is just to fight everything. 
because it's one of these sections where everything, your paths are blocked off. So if you want to make it through this section, the best thing you can do is just go on the offensive. Because it's really just um, an ass backward. Ass backward thing. Alright, so. Millennia again is just going to burn flame. And that'll be it. That should be the end of it. Off to the crematorium! And since we've got a nice mix of both enemies, we should get some decent uh, magic and special points from that. And we got a stone of some sort. Electrum stone. I also want to go back uh, off screen to the previous area and kill everything there, uh, mostly to burn through Millennia's uh, rage meter, because let's face it, she needs to not go into a boss fight all pissed off. So we, we really don't need that to be a thing. So, we have the initiative again. What do you think we're going to do? It, oh, wow. Everyone's got some bells here. Let's just do that and see what we get from these guys. <laughs> hey, check this out. Yeah, we, I really do not want her to be any sort of pissed off. And... Ice Fangstone and a Seed of Magic. Mmm, beautiful. And Merrick leveled up, that's even better. So, 2100 gold. Did I get both pieces of gold? Yeah, I did. I got the, the tiny thing of gold down here. There are no other... That would have been on the other side of that. Am I, am I getting everything? Alright, so we've got the treasure chest there. We've got one more... One more treasure, we're just going to kill this guy. And this treasure is one that I really, really, really want, but I don't know who I'm going to put it on. So, we'll... We'll see. And, again, there's a save point over there, so I don't care about spending all of my MP just burning everything. Ah. Yeah, hey, uh, I, I do want to go through and play all of the other Grandia games now, though just to see if their battle system is, you know, as... I would imagine that the first one, the battle system's not going to be as in-depth as this one because you're going to be able to, you know, uh, expand upon it as time goes on. But maybe, you know, Grandia 3 or Grandia Extreme. I've heard a lot of mixed things about Grandia Extreme, but, you know, I, I think it'd be a good game. I I mostly enjoy this game for the mechanics. The the characters are also really good. So there is a a thing of are these characters going to be are all the characters in Grandia 3 or Grand Extreme going to be just as well rounded or interesting? And there's that probably not aspect, but you never know. All right. Uh. Someone's going to do Air Slash. You're going to attack. We're going to cancel that attack. Because screw that, and then we are just going to burn strike everyone. And that's the end of it. Off to the crematorium. Or burn flame, excuse me. Because burn strike would have only killed one of them. Because... And hey, we got a ring off that guy. That's the, uh, the dark ring. I don't know what that does, but we'll find out in a second after I sit here and look at the 300 special coins we got from that. Warp Shoes. Alright, let's look and see what all we've got. So, Warp Shoes. Guess what they do? They add zero movement, but 10 defense, and then they warp you. That may be going on Ryudo. And then the the mock boots. Yeah, the mock boots are gonna go on Roan. So that that works. I mean I could put the, the warp boots on Roan and he could still teleport around and then he would be able to 
drain 10% damage back to him, and that would be a fun, fun thing. But that's not exactly where we need to go with that. So, okay, we've got... Um... Ooh, we've got a boss fight coming up. So, yeah, that's not good. Because I don't have time to start the boss fight. So, uh... But we're gonna get the, we'll get the story out of the way. Is what we'll do. And then I can start the next episode with the, uh... Shit, did I actually save it? I may need to go back up. Because, uh... I just recovered. That's not good. I did not... I did not save. Oh, damn it. I did not actually save. That's... I'm brilliant! Alright, can I... can I get control back to go back up to the save point, or no? Probably not. So this is gonna be all sorts of fun. This is the power of darkness? How ridiculous. Alright, so yeah, we... I do get to go back up. Oh, thank God, that... Oh, that... What do I talk about? Save often. Didn't even adhere to my own advice. I just kind of derped around. All right. Save game. Mostly it's because they allow you to recover as well. I think, oh, well, I pressed the button. That's more than enough to uh, to make up for, you know, the save. So come down this way and we'll go back see what's going on in this section, get some story out of the way, and then get to the boss fight, and that's where we'll end it. We are in the control room of this place, and look, there's what well, looks like high-tech uh, panels, so whatever this factory was in control of, there were people in control of this factory. Look, Ryudo, that thing. Oh, that... Yeah, what is that thing? That looks like something from Aliens. Eliminate threat immediately. Well, that's not my brother. It's the smell of one who brought... Okay. Whatever it is, it's possessed by the claws of Valmar, and it's getting closer. So, hey, we've ran into the claws of Valmar. An automata plant. Enable protocol. Eliminate threat. Exterminate! Exterminate! So, hey, there's a Doctor Who reference. And yes. This looks like it's going to be so much fun, doesn't it? Well, that's the claws of Elmar. He is an ugly some bitch. All right, let's uh, let's see what we've got in this fight. What do we have to go against? We have the right arm, which has 8,000 HP. Main body, which has uh, four or 140,000. And then left arm, which has 9,000. So we only have three enemies in this fight. Um, let's see. And then the left arm doesn't seem to drop anything. Uh, but the body and the other arm do. That's neat that only two parts of it has something bad. Um, so you can get the mana insignia from the body and the Book of Gales from the arm. So we want to make sure we kill uh, kill those in order to get those. Uh, so yeah, other than that, we've got it's getting ready to cast Ice Bullet, which is an AoE, because you can see it's targeting three people. Uh, it's going to do Infernal Sigh, which is also targeting three people. And then Thunder Bullet, which is only targeting two. So this is not going to be a good fight. And again, I probably should not have had Millennia come in with this, so 
I'm going to end this episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next installment, where I will, uh, come back to this. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later, everyone.